I'm trying this so that you don't have to. Pinch this upwards. Oh, wow. <gasps> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for a hair experiment. It has been way too long and I'm feeling the itch. And also, I came across this thing on the internet. Wow, <laughs> that made me sound so old. I saw a thing on the internet. I don't remember if this was TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Definitely don't know where the original video was posted. And I also, unfortunately, don't remember whose video it was. I really wish I had saved it, but at the time when I saw it, I had no idea how much this would nestle into my brain. So basically there is this young woman who does overnight blowouts. And the way she does this, I think, is she just puts a bunch of flexi rods inside an old sock. And yes, this already sounds like such a loopsy thing. Then she curls her hair with that overnight. And because it's such a thick like chunk of sock. <laughs> it creates a lovely beautiful blowout on her hair. So the idea of this has been living in my brain rent free since I saw that video days, weeks ago. I want to try it out. I want to see what happens. Now the biggest thing here is that her hair is beautiful and long and thick. Mine is fine, short and thin. So it might come out completely different. It might not do what I'm hoping it will do at all. But I'm trying this so that you don't have to and we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's gonna be fun either way and if this does work, it's gonna be fantastic because I'm still looking for an overnight curling method that will work really well with this hair. What I'm gonna need in any case are flexi rods and a pair of old socks. I am also, because I want to give this the best possible chance, I'm going to use a texturizing spray. This is a sea salt spray and my setting lotion. I think I'm just going to start, let me put my tea a little bit further away so no sea salt spray ends up in it. But I'm going to give my hair a little bit more texture to make it a bit more grippy and a bit less slippery so that it hopefully stays in the curlers a little bit better. Just covering all of my hair and some of my face apparently. While I give that a second to dry down a bit, I'm gonna make my contraption. I'm really not sure how many flexi rods to use, but I think it just depends on the effect that you want. And also, do I use the longer ones or the shorter ones? This much? Or maybe I just do a bunch of these and then this bunch in the second sock and I'll have two really thick ones. So I'm just gonna shove these inside my sock. There we are. How this works is I believe you split your hair approximately down the center so that you have the top and then you, let me just clip away the bottom for now just to be sure. And then you're supposed to brush the top forward, all of it completely forward. Okay, I am gonna need a hairbrush. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with a brush and also this reminds me that I forgot to use the setting lotion which is very important because this is what's gonna make my hair actually set in this shape and dry in the desired shape. So brushing everything forward. Now I don't quite remember exactly how she did this. I don't remember whether she did or didn't put in an elastic here and uh, which direction she rolled in, but I think it makes sense to roll under, so roll forward. So I'm just gonna wrap the ends around, tuck them underneath here, and roll the whole thing up. Make sure my bangs are in there. All right. And then give this a twist so that it's secure. Pinch it. Okay. <laughs> I'm honestly already surprised that this is even staying in, but oh, all right, so far so good. More setting lotion, couldn't hurt. And now the back. The thing is guys, I think because I'm turning it this way, if I flip my head back forward, it's gonna curl out. Basically, uh, I've talked about this before, but my hair, since it's been short, it has tended to kind of do this outward flick. 
and I don't like it. I, re I would really like my hair to be nicely rounded. Um, and I'm a bit worried that if I twist it in the direction that I was about to twist it, that I will um, encourage that outward flick. So I might twist this the other way around so that it curls inward. Oh, 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 wait, before I spray my hair, I need to stuff my sock. I love that I'm able to try this with stuff I already just had lying around. It's always my fave. Make sure it's nice and wet. Because that's how heatless curling works, right? You want the hair to dry in a certain shape so that it holds that shape. What she does with the second one is she also combs it forward and onto the top and then she twists it up right there. That's not gonna work on my hair because it's too short. It would just fall out in the back. So I'm gonna keep this second roll in the back completely. Um, and that way I can also make sure that I twist it inwards and hopefully that will help with my 1960s hair flick issue that I'm trying to get rid of. <laughs> okay, so twisting inward and then I'm just gonna pinch this upwards and there we have it. My hair is set. It looks surprisingly cute, like little 40s bumper bangs with very, very strange accessories. <laughs> it feels very sturdy, surprisingly so. So I will just leave this in for a couple of hours, wait for this to dry, and then we can take a look at the results. I'm really, really excited. I really, really hope this takes, because that would be amazing. However, uh, I am now doing this during the day. I am not sure how I would sleep on this. It is very hard. I think that's why she puts it all on top of her head so that it's a bit easier to sleep with. But yeah, before we worry about that, let's just first see if this works at all. So I will see you guys in a couple of hours when I finished my tea and dried my hair. <laughs> Oh, by the way, before I go, if any of you know the name of the lady who thought of this and um, made those videos, then please do let me know. I'd love to give her some credit. I just, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> so, yes, thank you very much. I will see you in a bit. It's been four hours. It's time to take it down. <laughs> I think I'm going to start with the lower half. Open this up. And unroll. It's definitely dry and it's definitely curled. Oh, ooh. <gasps> ooh. <laughs> Not bad at all. Let's do the top, which is going to determine everything, because that's the visible layer of hair on the top. This is also more hair, so if there's any part that hasn't dried, it's going to be this one. I think we're good. Wow, <gasps> that is some volume. Um, wow, <laughs> just, uh, I just, wow, what do I even do? What do I do with this much volume? Oh, <gasps> I love it. Okay, it, it needs a bit of finicking, right? But the base of this is so good. Remember how I said I wanted round hair? This is as round as my hair has ever been. Let's just wait a little bit to see how this settles down because it's gonna drop of course i mean gravity still works i will come back in like half an hour or so to see show you where we're at i am so sorry about the focus this is supposed to autofocus on my face which it usually does but for some reason the wall was a bit more interesting there anyways it has been almost two hours actually and here is where we're at and i can actually see it <laughs> A bit more clearly, my hair is still absolutely fabulous looking. It did drop down a little bit. It's not as voluminous as when I um, just undid it, but this is very impressive. If you remember how flat and like lifeless my hair was looking at the start of this video, this result is absolutely incredible. My hair is super bouncy. It's very, very voluminous and it just looks it looks absolutely fabulous. I don't know how else to put it. I think, yeah, 
fabulous is the word. I am not sure how I feel about my bangs in this whole thing. I love how it gives so much volume, but I think they're just a bit too short for this to really work. Um, and if I try and kind of like pinch them towards the center, I was gonna say it looks a bit odd, but I actually think it's fine. <laughs> it looks pretty good. <laughs> so next time I do this, I might leave my bangs out of the whole thing and only curl everything um, behind and next to my bangs. But even with the bangs, it looks incredible. I love how it gives me this like swoopy curtain bang style. And yeah, even two hours later, it's still so voluminous. And all I have to do is shake it up a little to get all of that volume back. And it looks sleek and shiny and I am over the moon. This works so well. I'm not even taking these out of the socks. I'm gonna have to do this every day from now on because this is the best. I was honestly fully expecting um, to sit here and be like, yeah, don't bother trying this, not worth it, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to tell you to do this. You're gonna have to find your flexi rods, stuff them inside socks and do this because you will wake up with the most fabulous hair of your life. No heat damage. How good is that? I'm honestly kind of mad because the only plans I have for tonight are yoga class. <laughs> so it's, what a waste of this fabulous hair. But at least I'm gonna have the most fabulous hair in the entire yoga class. Yes, this is fantastic. This is a resounding success. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to sleep with these in. I can't really imagine how I do that. I think I would need to cover it somehow. Did find that the bottom one was less secure and stable than the one on top of my head, even as I was doing my thing throughout the day. So that might need a little bit of extra securing. I think, I think it'll be fine. And I will try it out in any case, because this result can't beat it. Yeah, this is it. I think this is the best my hair has looked since I've cut it. This is it. <laughs> So I do think this is where I'm going to end this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed doing a little hair experiment again. So if you also enjoyed it, don't forget to give a thumbs up, let me know. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already to be updated on all of the things I do. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. If you'd like to support me through Patreon, there's a link in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.